All right, we're going to talk some football this week on Sundays with Serby because New York Post sports columnist Steve Serby, he caught up with Jets defensive coordinator Jeff Ulbricht for his weekly Q&A. Now we've got some questions for Mr. Serby, who joins me now. Steve, you spent some time out at Florham Park this week around the football, battling the air quality conditions. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. Uh, stayed in Wednesday, didn't breathe uh, at all. And uh, how about you? Did you go out at all? I, I was out only when needed. I was playing it safe. That's exactly what I was doing. Glad the air quality is much better in New York. But now we're going to give people some quality programming with Sundays with Serby. Steve Obrick, who you talked to this week, he's got a lot of talent to coach on the defensive side of the ball this season. Does he think the Jets and this team, this defense, can be the number one defensive team in the NFL this season? Does he believe that? I believe he believes that. He uh he believes he has a defense that can be feared by opposing teams. He believes he has a defense that can win games. He believes he has a defense that offenses are going to have to worry about more than they worry about themselves. He's Look, look what he's got. He's got uh, Quinn and Williams, of course, the ultimate disruptor once he signs his contract. He... Uh, Jermaine Johnson, he thinks, can explode this year in his second year. He's got Sauce Gardner, who practices the way he plays and is by no means complacent after his rookie of the year season and arguably can be the best cornerback in the NFL. And he's got Carl Lawson in his second year back from that torn Achilles. So he has a number one defense. He is not interested as much in statistics as he is in winning games, and he believes he has a defense that can help Aaron Rodgers win games. Yeah, he does. And look, it's all about winning the games, and we'll see if they are able to do that. Now, you brought up Aaron Rodgers, and there's some thought that at times last season, too much was placed on the Jets' defense due to at inconsistent times. quarterback. At play. times. Yeah, you're right. Not at times. Pretty much all the time, the entire season. I was being kind there, Steve. I was being kind, right? And because of the inconsistent quarterback play that the Jets saw last season, does Obrick believe that now with Aaron Rodgers on the center, the team's new QB makes him and his defense better? Does he believe that Aaron Rodgers can have that kind of impact? Well, Obrick uh, mentions frequently that the attention to detail that the Jets defense has to have that Rodgers demands because if Rodgers sees an inch, he will take a mile. So they have to be on their P's and Q's on every play against Aaron Rodgers. And because Aaron Rodgers, let's face it, is a football savant. And not only is, a, is he a savant, but he's got the talent to bridge that gap and it's a deadly combination and 39 years old he'll be 40 in December but he's revived he's rejuvenated he feels young again he's having the time of his life and he's a guy that figures things out on the field as well as anyone probably better than anyone right now in the NFL and not only does he figure it out he makes you pay for it so the relationship that Aaron Rodgers has with Nathaniel Hackett will pay dividends. And Ulbricht says he has never seen a one-of-a-kind relationship like the one that Rodgers has with Hackett. So, look, I can't wait for training camp. It's going to be on fire. I don't I, Dex, you'll be there, I'm sure, because you go to all the big events. I don't know about and, that. Um, Look, like there's eight or 10 or 12 teams that can win a Super Bowl, that can realistically dream about winning a Super Bowl, and the Aaron Rodgers Jets are one of those teams. They are. And listen, a lot, there's a lot of talk around the Jets that Aaron Rodgers can improve the team. I think that Jeff Ulbrich has every right to believe that he can help the defense, improve the defense, and hopefully the Jets do not have to see too much inconsistent quarterback play this season. Check you know, out. What, fun, Go ahead. Fun, what, before you chase me off, I know you're eager to get rid of me, but, uh, you know, Ulbrich, Ulbrich played as a player at Hawaii, played against Tom Brady in 2000, uh, and played with a torn ACL, by the way. And he um, he's thought he was shocked that Brady lasted until the sixth round. Ulbrich was drafted in the third round of that draft, but 
he he talks about Rodgers the way he talked about Brady from the time Brady played at Michigan until the time Brady retired. That's very high praise there. I look to the to the best to ever play the quarterback position there. Check out Steve Servi's Q&A with Jeff Ulbrich. It's a good one, especially if you're intrigued about the Jets defense. Can they be a number one defense? What does he think this team can accomplish this year? All those questions were asked by Steve Servi, and it's in his weekly Q&A. Another great one, Steve. We'll talk again, not next weekend, because I'm going to be on vacation, but we'll see you in a couple of Sundays for sure. Where are you going? I'm going to the lovely island, my favorite island in the world of Grenada. Going there. Oh, very nice. Maybe, maybe I'll wait a minute. We can still do one if I go to Grenada too, right? No, this is a no work trip. There will be no work. So if you if you're oh. there, I'll see you. I'll say hi. You can come kick it with me on the beach, but we will not be doing any work. That's for sure. All right. Well, <laughs> so we're gonna pass on next week. I can do one by myself if you like. That that's the or or whoever's filling in can do one with you. It just won't be me. It, it won't be a Dexter and Steve combination. We just won't. Whoever is filling in has huge shoes to fill. I don't know if they want that that well, job. Well, that's that's very high praise as always from you, Steve. Another. Well, keep up the good work. I I'm a big fan. Keep up the good work. Thank you. As I am a fan of you and your amazingly great legendary Q and A's. Keep up the great work, well, Steve. Thank you as always. Thanks, another thanks. another great Sunday with Steve. Thank you, Steve. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. 